Hello everyone and welcome to our talk TunePad Playbooks Designing Computational Notebooks for Creative Music Coding To begin, let's take a look at TunePad's interface Playbooks are an innovative computational notebook paradigm that was designed and developed to support creative musical expression including live performances Here you see a series of interactive cells that have rich text, Python code a piano roll and playable musical instruments. We'll discuss the design principles and implementation in more detail, but to start us off, let's take a quick look at a TikTok style video made by a TunePad coach. TunePad is influenced by a long history of constructionist learning environments that feature programming as a medium for creation. A broad goal of this project is to provide authentic learning experiences, and we strive to be authentic in the tools of practice for both coding and music, leading to these six broad design principles. For brevity, we'll mention a few here and refer you to the full paper for the rest. TunePad should provide a playful, exploratory environment that encourages learners to experiment with sounds and music without feeling overwhelmed by intimidating technical details. In other words, we hope that learners will first see TunePad as a platform for creative expression and later recognize the role of code in empowering music. As with Scratch and Logo before it, we are committed to the ideal of low floors, wide walls, and high ceilings. We aim to make it easy for learners to get started, but also support them as they progress towards expertise when they are motivated and ready. Because the underlying language is Python, there is a high ceiling when it comes to the complexity of programs that can be created. A cornerstone of constructionist learning environments is the ability to share personally meaningful artifacts with others. This has motivated us to make sharing and remixing as easy as possible. TunePad playbooks can be exported to MP3, Wave, and MIDI, and the ability to add text and multimedia cells to projects is intended to support creative expression with artwork, lyrics, poetry, and personal reflections. Lastly, it is essential for us that coding is seen as an empowering language of musical expression that allows learners to go above and beyond what is possible with typical music production tools. There is a real risk, especially for beginners, that coding ends up hindering musical expression, and that is something we want to watch out for. While TunePad playbooks are similar to computational notebooks, like Jupyter Notebook and Google Scholab, there are some important design and implementation differences that we have summed up here. Unlike Jupyter-style notebooks, a playbook is optimized for music and art. It is designed for creative workflows. It doesn't require an installation by virtue of it being a web application, and playbooks can have performable artifacts. Let's take a closer look at the TunePad playbook's design. TunePad has the ability to perform and improvise music in real time. Live coding in TunePad is made possible because the cells can be run independently to generate music in layers, multiple instruments are automatically synchronized by the beat and measure, changes in code are automatically recompiled in the background without having to pause and restart the resulting music, and finally, changes to the audio output are queued to begin at the start of the next loop. Playbook cells share a lexical namespace instead of a runtime space. 
The syntax is the same as standard Python, with the name of each cell becoming the module name used for imports. If a cell redefines variables or functions, those changes are local to that cell. The implication of this architecture is that there is no need for a shared kernel or locally installed client-server software. In addition, dependencies between cells becomes explicit. For instrument cells, the Python code is closely coupled with the piano roll and the playable musical instrument. The playable instrument has a record feature that can generate Python code corresponding to the notes currently being played. This piano roll can be swapped out for a waveform visualization or standard sheet music notation. As a learner writes or edits a line of code, the changes are reflected in the piano roll instantaneously. This closely coupled visual representation not only provides immediate feedback, but also aids debugging. Hovering over the piano roll reveals the note being played, as well as the line of code responsible for that note. And this encourages experimentation. Book instruments provide access to a console for debug logs as well as the ability to trace through lines of code one at a time. Each time a note or rest is added to the code, we create an automatic breakpoint for code tracing. The step button built into instrument cells will run code to the next breakpoint, playing notes along the way. In addition to code debugging, the interactive piano roll helps with musical debugging. Creators can move the playhead on the piano roll to highlight the line of code that is responsible for a particular note or notes, making it easier to edit or debug the line in question. Over the project's lifetime, we have hired dozens of facilitators to help new learners. We refer to these facilitators as coaches in order to emphasize their roles as mentor and guides for program participants. To illustrate the creative affordances of TunePad, we interviewed six coaches who had coached younger learners in TunePad camps during spring and summer of 2021. This is a snapshot of the various themes that emerged from these interviews. We request you to refer to the paper for additional details. While the paper has lots of important details, our major takeaway is that when thinking about designs that bring together music and coding, we should consider how creators go about coordinating a wide variety of tools, representations, and workflows. It is important to focus on the overall creative environment and not just the programming language itself.